Yes, we have already seen what is a regular expression and how to write a regular expression. Today we will explore more about regular expressions so that we can easily understand about what is basically a regular expression is and how we can write a regular expression for a given language. So the task is that we have to convert a language into a regular expression. We have to represent a language in terms of regular expression. So the first point is, let's say that this is the symbol which represents the input alphabets for a particular grammar. So if we have to make a language for if we have to make a regular expression for a language whose input alphabets is represented by this epsilon, then what can be the possible operands in a regular expression? Because it is an expression. So what can be the possible operands into that expression? Let represents the regular expression with capital E. So if E is an expression which is representing a regular expression, then what can be the possible operands? The operands can be the input alphabet, expression E, which is made of these input alphabets, plus expression, plus expression, expression, asterisk, expression, positive closure, and epsilon. These are the main operands which will make up any regular expression. Not limited to only these, but these are the main operands which make up any regular expression. If E is a regular expression, then these are the possible operands. Now, let us see in more detail that what is a regular expression means how do we write a regular expression now suppose we say that there is a language for whom the regular expression is a plus b this is a regular expression there is a language for whom the regular expression is a plus b so what is this language is or how to write this regular expression or what is the meaning of this a plus b this should be very clear to us that what is the meaning of this a plus b this a plus b means a union b a union b is written as a plus b in terms of regular expression and when do we use this a plus b or when do we use this union this is a big question which comes into the mind that hame ye union lena kab hai so let's say if there is a language which says that there is a grammar or there is a machine which accepts the string which is made of A or B, which is made of A or B. There is a language which accepts the string which is made of A or B. So whenever this term A or B comes, we put a language which accepts A. This is one regular expression. We call it R1 or b this is another regular expression we call it r2 and as the grammar says that it accepts either a or b so we put or in between a or b or we say a union b or we say a plus b so this is a grammar which is accepting a or b but there is a restriction in this a or b means this a or b will come only once now, how do we represent this concatenation or sorry, this union in terms of automata? Though this is a separate part where regular expression would be converted into a finite automata, but just to give a picture that is or ka matlab kya hota hai. So the grammar would be something like this. The machine would look something like this that either A comes or B comes, this string would be accepted. So 
what is this type of machine if we look to this figure very carefully this type of machine says that it accept either a or b and how do we represent it in regular expression a plus b if it come more number of times then the expression would change but for the time being we are seeing that it is coming only for one number of times that it can accept either a or b or kuch accept nahi kar sakta the grammar accepts either a or b this is the language it says that the our language in such a, is such which accepts either a or b so what is the regular expression for this language a plus b continuing to this if we say that the grammar is such a way that it accepts the strings made of a or b so there can be more number of strings strings made of a or b including epsilon including epsilon so the string can be epsilon it can be a a it can be a b it can be triple a it can be b b and so on so it can be infinite strings now how to represent this so how do we solve this first thing is it says that string accepts a or b so how do we write a or b we write in such a way this is a this is or b so this is a or b but now it is saying strings made of a or b yani ki a ki bhi bahut sari strings aa sakti hai b ki bhi bahut sari aa sakti hai aur combination bhi ho sakta hai to combination ka matlab kya hua ki a aur b ke baad wapas kitni bhi bar a aur aa jaye is cheez ko bahut dhyan se sunoge kitni bhi bar wapas a aa jaye ya kitni bhi bar wapas b aa jaye ya a aaye fir b aaye a aaye fir b aaye kuch bhi aa sakta hai jab hame kuch bhi dalna ho तो कुछ भी को रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन में हाउ डू वी रिप्रेजेंट बाय पुटिंग अ स्टार क्लोजर व्हाट डू वी कॉल इट अ स्टार क्लोजर और क्लीन क्लोजर स्टार क्लोजर मींस अ स्ट्रिंग कैन बी रिपीटेड एन नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स नाउ लेट अस सी व्हाट इज दिस स्टार क्लोजर इन मोर डिटेल ए प्लस बी एस्ट्रिक व्हाट इज दिस ए प्लस बी एस्ट्रिक मींस दिस ए प्लस बी एस्ट्रिक मींस दैट दिस ए और बी कैन कम एनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स and in any order in any order this is not that if a will come then b will not come they both can come in any order for example for the first time we take a comes then on second times we take b comes then again on third time a can come then again on fourth time a can repeat why it is repeating you see a comes reach to the next state then b came from this we again we were again on the final state a came reached to the final state on the final state b came fir se final pe pahunch gaya fir b aaya fir pahunch gaya fir a aaya to usne ye wala path le liya fir b aaya to ye wala path le liya so this is repetition this is basically representation of clean closure for a plus b asterisk now when we will be making a bigger regular expression all these things would become very important that where we have to put or where we have to put repetition or where we have to do concatenation so let us see an example for concatenation also for concatenation a dot is the symbol which is used though in practice we do not put dot we write it directly now what is the meaning of this thing it means b followed by a this is very important suppose there is a grammar which says that it accepts a and b with a condition that b should be followed by a b should be followed by a hai na it accepts only one string usne ka ek hi string accept karega ek hi string possible hai which it accepts and that is ab it accepts only one string the language says that it accepts only one string which is ab and the restriction is that b should be followed by a aise bol do chahe ab bol do so the regular expression itself becomes ab how do we represent it a followed by b ka matlab kya hua on a starting state a comes then b comes and when b comes we reach to the final state this is the regular expression ab 
and this is the representation for a b that first a will come then b will come if suppose this thing has to occur recursively recursively means that it accepts the string a b recursively the grammar is such that it can be a b it can be a b a b it can be a b a b a b or epsilon or dash 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 means a b can be repeated n number of times then what will become the automata tab automata kaisa lagega dekhne mein is tarah se lagega a aaya b aaya pahunch gaya fir wapas initial state pe gaya epsilon pe fir wapas initial state pe gaya sorry yahan se yahan pe bhej do kyunki epsilon is also accepted hai na epsilon se aa bhi raha hai aur epsilon se ja bhi raha hai so what happens if ab comes we reach to the final state then again if ab comes we reach to the initial state and we will reach to the final state on ab if again ab comes we will reach if only epsilon is accepted then it will take this path so this is how this concatenation works and we decide that how this ab is means represented in terms of automata we'll be seeing in further videos in further lectures how to convert a regular expression into a finite state automata this is not the goal for today that how this conversion we are doing is the main goal is that how to write a regular expression for a language and to understand it more better we are seeing the automata parallelly that how it is represented in terms of transition diagram also to understand it more better now it is we to decide that how to write a regular expression for a given language so the first rule i have also already told before is that write the language write the possible strings see if it is a finite string if it is a finite string then just used union to add all these finite strings and this will become the regular expression if it is not a finite string if it is an infinite series if it is an infinite series then we have to use our iq to write a regular expression for the infinite series and it requires a practice there is no other method which can solve it if it is an infinite series plus for this practice what we can do is the things which we have seen that either it is or a or b is accepted a followed by b is accepted or both are accepted or what is the restriction which is given so we have to see to the restriction very carefully and decide that how to write a regular expression so now we will see in the next lecture that how to write down regular expressions for some more complicated languages